Today we're going to be taking this normal looking neighborhood street and create something that looks so much more realistic using a couple of mods in City Skylines to create a cul-de-sac. So to pull this off the best way possible, we're going to be utilizing three mods, but really there's only one that's required and that is Node Controller. To make our lives a little bit easier with creating cul-de-sacs, we're also going to utilize the Network Multi-Tool. This isn't required, but it does make it just a little bit easier. On top of that, we're going to use the Move It mod to add some detailing to our city. That way we can make this look like an actual neighborhood. You can find links to all of that down in the description below, but let's go ahead and start with Network Multi-Tool. All we're going to do is add a quick node right near the end of the street. And then from here, grab Node Controller, click on the end of the last node, open more options, and let's increase the stretch to 200. So as you can see, now we have a very funky looking circular oval thing. To fix this, all we need to do is grab move it and we can drag our node down just a little bit to create more of a seamless transition. Now we're starting to have some clipping from bushes and this is another way that move it makes this just a little bit easier. We can grab the houses and move them and position them to where it looks just a bit more natural. So as you can see, the neighborhood is starting to come together. We have a new cul-de-sac where Sims can come and they can turn around and leave the neighborhood easily. But let's go ahead and add in some new houses. We'll just grab move it click on an asset and go ahead and duplicate it. And now we can place this asset anywhere we want it that makes sense. And I think right at the end of the street makes sense. So you can see that this little street that is already compact as it is could only fit two standard houses in end cities before. But by creating a cul-de-sac and using the move it mod, we have ended up being able to add two more houses to this street. Now this is much more effective if you create it on a road like this, where you have a little bit more room to add more houses. As you can see in this one, I was able to add, I think these four to it. But even for small city streets, you are able to add a few more houses. From here, you could go ahead and detail your neighborhood and make it look just a little bit better, but I think that proves the point of how to create a cul-de-sac in City Skylines. So thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and also don't forget to share this video with someone else to show them how they can easily create a cul-de-sac in City Skylines.